So when it comes to understanding how many calories you should be eating, unless you're working with the belly burn coach like myself, where we just know what works for you, that we've done enough of these belly burns to determine how many calories you can actually eat without ever being stuffed or how many calories you should be eating without being starved and still lose weight and fat while putting on muscle. This is the technique that I would tell you to do on your own so that you can assess your calorie intake to a point where you're never stuffed and you're never starved. Now, when it comes to setting up calories, go ahead and just pick any calories that you, that you think you can eat. So for most women, it's in and around 1800 calories that are working out one to two times a day, five days a week over at Fit Club. So this woman is probably burning anywhere from 18 to 2,500 calories in a day. When it comes to dudes, dudes generally have more muscle mass. Dudes generally burn more calories throughout the day. So a guy to start in and around 2,000 to 2,500 calories would be that range. So let's say we start you as a female at around 1,800 calories. Now this is you've never done a belly burn and you don't know where you should be starting with your calories. Let's just start you at 1,800 calories. So then you go into my fitness pal and the standard macro pattern that you do in my fitness pal is going to be 40% protein, 30% carbs, and 30% fats. Why 40, 30, 30? Well, you're gonna still get carbs in you so that you can enjoy carbs. I never want you to eliminate any type of food group. I still want you to enjoy your carbs. Whatever it is, that's your choice. But we wanna make protein 40% the staple of your diet. Protein takes more calories to burn. Protein provides fuel for your muscles to grow and repair. It's also good for your hair, nails, and just your overall bodily function. So it's one of the main macros that you wanna get. Now, 30% is gonna come from your cooking oils. There's fats in a lot of your meats, and even your carbs have fat. So in and around 30% for your fats is okay. If you get less fats and then you get more carbs, or more protein, I'm okay with that as well. So if at the end of you plugging in your food into my fitness pal, you find that, oh man, I'm at 45% protein, I'm at 35% carbs, and I'm only at like 20% fats, so it's 100%, then you would be okay with that, okay? Because protein is still your main macro. Your goal is to hit those 1800 calories, make protein your first major macro, and then what I want you to do is eat those calories for two days. Now it's Monday and you get up to 1500 calories and you're like, I'm absolutely stuffed. I cannot eat another piece of meat or another carb or whatever it is. And it's already later in the day. So let's say it's around four or five or even 6 PM in the day and you're stuffed. I would tell you to stop eating. I would say just wait until the next day for when you start your breakfast. But from the time you actually stop eating, by the time you go to bed, you can have like fluids, right? Because the fluids are gonna keep your stomach tank full. So if you only get 1500 calories, fill up the rest of your stomach tank with fluids because the last thing I want you to do is go and have a big ass meal right before you go to bed, okay? There's not a lot, like, like it's not a bad thing to eat before you go to sleep, but food is fuel. So even if you're under your calories and then you decide, you know what, I'm absolutely hungry, I need to go eat again. And then you eat like, you know, 300 calories or 400 calories before you go to bed, those calories could affect your sleep because they get digested and they get released as energy. And if you're trying to sleep, guess what? The body's releasing energy, which could wake you up. Plus you could be full before you go to bed. That's gonna disrupt your sleep anyways. But if you're at 1500 calories and you're absolutely stuffed, then tomorrow keep the goal of 18 but if you're at 1500 and you're still full, then maybe that's the good calories for you, okay? But we use Wednesday morning as your first assessment day. So when you wake up in the morning, you'll know whether or not you are starving, if you're okay, or if you're stuffed. So if you wake up Wednesday and you're stuffed, then that means that we need to decrease the calories that you're consuming by 200. So you'd go from 1800 calories Monday, Tuesday, and you would go down to 1600 calories from Wednesday until your next assessment day, which is gonna be Saturday. So then you would eat those 1600 calories Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna do a reassessment. So that's if you're stuffed. Now, if you're okay, we can make that decision whether, you know what? I woke up today, it's the same calories I've been eating Monday, Tuesday, and today I feel okay. 
Uh, I didn't have any dizzy moments. I wasn't tired throughout the day and I never really got hungry. Then if your goal is to lose weight and fat, we do a small caloric drop. So instead of going 200, if you were stuffed, we would cut you by 100 calories and cut your 1800 by 100 and that would give you 1700 keeping the macros at 40 30 30 but if you wake up on wednesday and you're absolutely starving then what we need to do is the opposite is that now we have to play with how many calories do we need to put back so that you never feel starving we want to move you into that okay zone we don't want to move you into the stuff zone we want to keep you in that okay zone so that we continuously to cut calories so that we can increase the amount of calories that we're burning versus how much we're intaking and thus resulting in more weight loss and more fat loss. Now again, this is a generalized approach for somebody that's just getting going and has never worked with a belly burn coach because there's other methods and factors that come into play when you've been doing this method for a longer period of time, but this is a great way to get started. So on Wednesday, if you wake up and you are starving, then the first thing I would tell you is to add 100 calories onto that day. So if you're eating 1800 calories Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday comes around and you're starving, then I would tell you to go up to 100 calories on the day, go to 1900 calories with the 40, 30, 30, reassess yourself the next day, and if you wake up and you're still starving, add 100 calories onto that day, right? Then the next day, if you wake up and you're like, I'm okay, then you gotta decide to keep yourself at those calories or do you do a slight cut or do you wait until the next day? I would tell you to wait until Saturday to keep those calories where they are, assess yourself on Saturday. And if you wake up Saturday and you're still okay, then we can do the color cut. Or if you're full, then we'll do a bigger cut. So if you're just getting started and you've never worked with the belly burn coach and you don't know how many calories you should be consuming, then this video is perfect for you. Okay. You can also use this video if, you've been working with the belly burn coach and it's been a while since you've last connected with the coach and they've given you calories and macros, et cetera, et cetera, then you can use this guideline to get you back on track. If you're a female and you're doing anywhere from, you know, 30 to 60 minutes of fit club style hit training with strength training, then I would start you probably in and around 1800 calories. If you're a male and you're doing a fit club style workout with the hit style combined with strength training, in one, then I'd probably start you anywhere from 22 to 25. I'd have to look at you and know the stature and see like your muscle physique, et cetera, et cetera. But I would start you at those 1800 calories or 2200 calories if you're a male, 40% protein, 30% carbs, 30% fat. We would do an assessment. So we never want you to stuff. We never want you to starve. We always want you to fit in that okay zone. We use Wednesday as your guideline for how that's gonna look for the rest of the week. We then reassess on Saturday and we continue rolling that for the next 28 days. So if you're on your own, this is a great method to get you on track and to give you a great guideline so that you can do this on your own and keep yourself accountable. But if this video made no sense to you and if you're really looking to push to lose that last eight to 12 pounds, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn and we'll just lay this all out for you, no problem.